thought this is where what you do. Well, go to the other side and see what's. Well, the other side is the boat. Oh, it is. I thought I was gonna pull it in, but no, it's well, not. Well, there's wood in the way. I you you want to know what I'll bet is gonna happen? So I have something that will hold it for the time being. I need to use it to pull the boat to the spindle. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. All right, let me get up. There we go. Okay, so you come out here. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you need to do. Okay. But it's it's already tied up to that thing, isn't it? So here's what we need to do. We actually need to gauntlet this. So that we can get to the boat and uh, then bring it in. Okay, so let the thing drain completely. That's gonna be a challenge. Ah, no, 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 no. Well, now I need to drain it completely again. This is going to take Drax complete and utter concentration. At least one would hope. No! <laughs> How are you going to get the boat through there? Because the problem is, is that I can't get out. Crap. Okay, now I have to wait for this to fill out again. And you'll forgive our laziness a little bit. We're actually coming back from vacation, so we, we are thoroughly relaxed, or at least I would hope we are. <laughs> I'm relaxed. How about you? I'm not, because I had to go back to work. Yes, you did. You had to go back to work today. Technically, I had to go back to work Saturday. That was my first day back to work. And oh, was... man. Yay, and I get to go back to work. Oh, no, 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 no. Pretty no, quick. No. Pretty soon. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Yeah, we didn't do too much. I mean, we 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 just had a lot of fun, but you know, we didn't go do jeeping or anything. But we just was... chill, Max, to relax outside the pool. No! Oh, crap. I'm doing okay. so good. We already had it. Okay, so now I know how to do it. Then a couple guys who were up to no good started making trouble in our neighborhood. No, because we're better than Will Smith. Silly Alex. Will Smith phones in his roles. No, he doesn't. Could have fooled me. The last couple of roles he's taken have been phoned in. Well, after Earth, sure, but depends on the role. Yeah, Suicide Squad, too. Suicide, yeah. He did not phone in Suicide Squad. I really do think he phoned in he Suicide Squad. He did not. He phoned in Suicide Squad? Okay, mm -hmm. then, Alex, here's what's going to happen. A couple months from now, when he actually makes the story about how he doesn't think that it was his fault that uh, Suicide Squad didn't do well... Um, then we're gonna have the I told you so moment because that's usually Wait, you what didn't happens. Drain it all. Is that it's not his fault that it failed. It's the directors, it's the writers, it's the producers, it's anybody but him. Well, in this case, it would be everybody else's fault because it's DC and Warner Brothers throwing these movies out before no, they're Will, Will ready. Shows, Will shares a, a part in that. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Come on, he's Warner. You and I are gonna agree to disagree here, man. He shares a part. He is not as good as. He's not a, as good a dead shot as everybody's making him out to be. Okay, so. Ah! Uh, 
Okay, I can't even see it. Exactly. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know what you're supposed to Are do. Are you supposed to just turn it and I frankly go rather in? you just finish the damn game already. Don't you have to do You're already hooked up to it. Why are you Yeah, doing... but it's not pulling it towards him. Well, what if you so... what if you hit crank it? I can't go through a wall. Yeah, but why do you need to shoot at it? Calm myself. I'm gonna double check my my method here. Why is it this Magic is the one people. game you want to go completionist on? To spite you. Oh, there we go. That's what I was trying to tell you. All you probably need to do is just turn that thing. Welcome back, everybody. We figured it out. Okay. Actually, actually, I figured it out. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, girl power. Can we move on? Listen to your wife. So that's going to open up the door to the codex. Yay! I finally get to see this one! Uh, is there anything around it? Of course not! <coughs> I'm so interested in these, these Just... treasure rooms, and then there's nothing in them! <coughs> Iron grip. So climbing on rock and ice surfaces is is significantly faster. Yay! Yay! And we have the Baths of Katesh. So here's the words that you've been waiting for me to hear, or waiting for me to say, Alex. Hmm. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's get out. Get out of here. Cut it out. Cut it out. Hey, everybody, I'm Dave Collier. Now I can honestly say that I have 100% completed Rise of the Tomb Raider, except for the DLC, but I don't normally count DLC in there. Yeah. In my nice little Russian camel vest. The one that I would point out that you guys picked. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I don't know. I, I want to get that that uh, commando one with the the black shirt. That that was pretty cool too. That that's like right out of all the Jack Ryan movies that you watch. You know what I'm talking about, right? Mm, not really. Or maybe I should get the the Immortal Guardian. No, that's a crafted one. Okay, so we can now leave the bath the baths of Katesh. The Baths of Katesh. No, we didn't take it. There was no bath scene here, people. It's there was not no, that kind of Lara Croft. No kawaii desu. No. With my Oni-chan and Nisama. And no senpai noticed me either. And my senpai. Honestly, what is that? What anime is that from? Nothing really. It's just a gen It's just a joke. Senpai notice me. Because Senpai is just older classmen, so you're, the idea is you're the junior classmen wanting to be noticed by the cool upper classmen. Okay, so now we can go back to the geothermal valley. Ooh! Hazania needs a kohai! And I think this puts us at the upper village, doesn't it? Yeah. So this is pretty much where we need to be. Guys, here's what's going to irritate Alex even more. We got one more tomb that we can take care of right now. And then on to the story. Doesn't it feel like if you were going hiking? No, because I don't think you'd be able to get away with all this jumping that I'm doing. <laughs> I'm jumping, guy. Yeah, imagine if you went hiking. Uh, I can't imagine that because, well, I'd never hike. Because, well, Adam hates the outdoors like he hates everything else. I don't hate the outdoors. I'm just not an outdoorsy person. Yeah, we should count. Which is funny because I married into an outdoorsy family. <laughs> so. You know, your channel and the channel I Hate Everything should really get together and go bowling. Oh, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bad. 
Jeez, you're constantly referencing the three the three episodes that are just people are gonna hate. There we go. So now that we have the wire hook, we can actually do this one. Do 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 do. Oh look, campfire. Or campfire. Welcome everybody to the unknown area. Yeah, we've seen tons of those. We're seeing uh, we a fire so when she She just goes and sits by every campfire she sees and doesn't even know who. And who monologues. And monologues. I have to come and do my monologue. Thank you very you much. You sly dog. You got me monologuing. <laughs> uh, we're going to get death from above because I do actually like having that stealth kill. I played more Star Fox on the Wii U. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I'm just I'm just sitting by somebody's random Whee! campfire. Don't even know whose it belongs to. It, it belongs to nobody. It was just conveniently here. There we go. And now, thanks to the fact that we did, we finished the Baths of Katash, Alex, we can now climb things faster. I'll be the judge of that. I'm afraid no, you won't. I won't let you be the judge of that. Good, sir. So here's another question for the Shadow Blazer that we got, was, which was another review-based question. Ah, you go! Ah, you go! Ah. Okay, we're good. We're good now. Oh, this tomb. This tomb is both awesome the and also really- judgment. This tomb is both awesome as well as frustrating. And you'll see in a second why. Because mm. we're going to get a real display of physics. Um, so since you are an anime reviewer, uh, yeah. have you ever considered doing reviews of live action anime adaptations? For example, Attack on Titan, Death Note. Um, I think for a while you were considering doing the live action noir when it was coming out. Yeah. Uh, or or another one would be like the live action Ghost in the Shell that's coming out. Uh, we're, ta we're talking specifically on the channel, not Geek News or anything like that. Right. Eh, maybe. I guess I'm up to it if it's a movie I'm already interested in going to see for that matter. I can tell you he doesn't have a review for Attack on Titan. No, I don't. And he probably won't. No. Although, strangely enough, after seeing your race, you actually told me you might consider watching Death Note. Yeah. The anime Death Note of the last... I did walk in on the end of, like, a live-action one before. It was so stupid. <laughs> Cause, and I, you, you've watched a live-action Death Note? No, I oh. walked in on, like, the end end of one. Okay. Because I, I was at a con and going to a new screening, and I, just the movie was finishing up, and I, from all I could see what the movie was, it, the movie literally ended like this. Uh, so I guess you had L or whoever it was. He was staring down some guy, and then he just opens up a bag of potato chips and starts eating them. So Yeah, because that's like the one thing that's supposedly memorable from Death Note. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take a potato chip and eat it. Why is that? I don't know why people attach to that scene. I, I'm just as lost as you guys. It's just a weird, it's just, I guess, a weird thing in a yeah. otherwise very serious show. Oh, here we go. That's going to help us later. Just one of those weird character quirks that comes out of nowhere. Yeah, and even then, it's it's still not as awesome as people made it out to be. I, I, I'm not trying to be a dork, but... Like, I, I laughed at it just as much as everybody else did, because basically the, the scene is saying that... In order to continue killing, Light puts a TV in a bag of potato chips, which is just unlikely. Because we're talking, like, one of those... One of those bags of potato chips you can get from a vending machine. Right. So he has like a little pocket TV in there. And this is like, okay, how did you put it in there in the first place? You know, there's so many questions here that you're just not answering. It just raises too many questions. Yeah, exactly. It just raises too many freaking questions. Okay, so this might be the one I need. Too many questions, Edward. Too many there questions. All right, so here's where we get to have we just have some fun with physics, Alex. Are you ready? Ready. This is going to be with physics and lasers. And, and lasers. And it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Because this is filled with, I'm guessing gold, maybe fool's gold, something like that. Whatever, it's heavy. And so now we get to do this. Whee! Thump! 
Oh, and it goes boom for some reason. <laughs> Perhaps maybe. Because Indiana Jones, that's why. Okay. Probably because there's maybe some dynamite in there and a little sparks. Actually, I think it's the same ore that we're using to make uh, incendiary weapons. So oh. That might be why. To use incendio. Okay, so then this, it puts us in here. Basically, we have to create more of a, of a boom. And in order to do that, we need to, first of all, get the uh, elevator platform down so we can claim the other cart. Um, I don't think we can move it, no. The thing is down there. So, yes, let's go ahead and dig where there's wood. That's, <laughs> that's going to work. But hey, with Avid Learner, we gained a little bit more experience than we should have. Yeah, so here's the... Okay, I, I now see what we need to do. No, we don't have the elevator down here. So we need to bring the elevator down. Oh, wait, we found something! Da 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 da! Dice. Dice. Well, now we can play Dungeon Dice Monsters. Anybody up for a game of Dungeon Dice Monsters? I'm Duke Devlin. Have you oh, noticed that Duke bro. Devlin likes likes the letter D because he named the thing Dungeon Dice Monsters? Yep. So it's just like Duel Monsters. My game is not like Duel Monsters. <laughs> My game involves dice. There we go. So this lowers the elevator. We can take it down the hole. And then we rotate it so that we can get the minecart on. We No, I'm not done. Uh, it doesn't want you to be done yet. Well, it doesn't get to pick, now does it? No, I suppose not. Push! So yeah, there you go. That, that's the answer for live-action anime adaptation uh, movies that he will re he he might consider reviewing. But I actually I don't know. I can see you doing Ghost in the Shell. I just don't see like Battle Angel Alita. Mm -hmm. You were you were kind of frustrated by that. Mostly because I don't want it. Robert Rodriguez to direct it. Really? How come? The man can't do visual effects well. Everything I've seen looks cartoony and green screeny and fake. Oh, and you want uh, Rupert What's His Bucket to do? Rupert. Mer uh, uh, Rupert, what is it? Someone with, a, with an S, I know that much. Right. Oh, crap. Um, so that's not right. We need to rotate it one more time downstairs. Rupert Saunders, there we go. Rupert Sanders. So you want him to do Ghost of the Shell? Not particularly. Oh. But I haven't. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, is this... Okay. Here's what might happen. We might actually have to set this up so that it's facing the right way as we go up. So do that. And... Yeah, that was what I was afraid of. But it was... Ah, crap! It's the reverse. Really? Yeah. So you supposed it, to go It was down? not going the direction I thought it was. It was going the reverse direction. So here's what we need to do. It's not this one. It's the previous or the other side. All right. Now that it's loaded up. So another question that we got for the for the shadow laser. Korean chop shop, mo uh, Korean chop shop models. Are you ever going to do them? And the examples that were thrown out were Diatron Five, things like that. It's it's stuff where kind of like Macross, where it's edited with other series in it. Let's hope it doesn't all just collapse. Oh, but before, but first we've got some physics that's about to happen. Mm. We're gonna have some physics happen in this big snatch. There it goes. Boom. Boom! Now we've all had our physics lesson. Physics! 
Because fun with physics, right? More fun than Bill Nye ever had. <laughs> Who likes Bill Nye? F Bill Nye. I used to watch it a lot as a kid. And... I only ever watched it in school. And anything that was in school, F it. <laughs> See? See? I tell you. I don't hate everything. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> but your channel... But you and... You and the channel, I hate everything, need to get together and go bowling. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> But then he's going to tell me he hates it. I hate everything. I think I already told you that. <laughs> I don't know. Have you actually watched any of that channel? I think you I think you linked me something once. Right. I think it was like when he... Geologist. So, geology, uh, geological knowledge allows six, uh, successful mining of chromite ore. Press X to mine when near an underground ore vein. So now we can mine chromite ore. All right. Uh, actually, getting back to the question... I'm not sure I quite understand the Korean chop shop model. Are they we were stuff that happened in like the 60s and 70s. So like Diatron 5 was one of them where, where basically it was a spoof of insert anime here. And I know mm -hmm. that they did a lot with giant robot shows, but I'm not sure if they did it so much with other genres. Then probably not, because, well, well, I don't... Yeah, cause also because I think they're all in VHS. So <laughs> at that point, they're incredibly difficult to find. And... Yeah, and I have no way to capture VHS footage. Yeah, oh, here we go. So let's see if we climb faster. Yes, we do. And guys, slightly. You'll have to forgive Lara. She, she still has to climb naturally. And fall with style. This isn't flying. This is falling with style. So here's another question for the Shadow Blazer, and it actually pertains to Dracon Shadow. Okay. Uh, aside from Dot Hack, have you ever made a pitch, another pitch for another anime set of games to be done? Obviously, this guy never saw um, Bodica Magica Month. Uh, so yes, he has made pitches. Mm -hmm. um, but he hasn't made that many. Yeah. I think I've made more anime game pitches than you have. Right. But we've, like, here's the thing. Certain anime games are awesome, Others, it's like movie tie-in games. It's very, it's hit and miss, but mostly miss. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, for example, I don't know how many times it's been brought to our attention, like, please do the Full Metal Alchemist games that came out on the DS or whatever. That's not happening. Probably not. Uh, the new PS4 Attack on Titan, that's not happening. We're both not interested. Um, and, and frankly, we haven't gotten uh, fan requests for it. Um, yeah, that's the problem. The only anime licensed games that ever come out are based on properties I co don't care about. <laughs> wow, well, they, they, you need to do something about that, Alice. You need to make them care. Right. Not really. I'd like to examine the atlas if you're ready. Okay, I've so got it here. I'm on my way soon. Just keep it safe until then. As for like, I just like to point out, we're we're officially done with the tombs. And we can we can go on into the story. Woo! Yay! You know, as for original games that feature anime style art, then sure. At least those are a little easier to come by thanks to Steam. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Uh, so that that's kind of the issue. Is like there there are a couple that I would like to recommend, and either a they're really hard to get a hold of, and I don't have copies, or b it's just. It's a it's an anime adaptation and it's not very good. Uh, like I remember at one point, some since I mentioned that I liked Yu Yu Hakusho, somebody recommended that we do the Yu Yu Hakusho fighting game. Mm -hmm. Only one problem: I don't own a copy. Alex doesn't own a copy. It's really hard to come by, and I hate the game. <laughs> I absolutely hate the game. So, you've been inside some of the tombs. Yes, we have. But I don't think I found all of them yet. You've uncovered another secret, have you? Well, I've got more coins for you. Thank you! So we have 30. An additional 30 coins to work with. And now we actually only have one more tomb. Um, before we're, we're done with the tombs in this game. So, let's actually check the map and see where our objective is going to take us. Here it is. Here's our current objective. What's our nearest... 
It's our nearest campfire to it. Yeah, here's where we are. No, that's not where we are. Boom. There it is. I think. No, that's the beacon. That's <laughs> when we lit the beacons and Gondor was warned. 